To make a handmade lampshade, whether your design is pleated, gathered or tailored, first you'll need to bind your frame. Our workshops and craft retreats go into this in great detail. However, if you're attempting this at home, this video gives you the basics to get you started. First and foremost, especially if you're working with used vintage frames, check your frame carefully for damage, rusting, kinks and bumps. Strip any old fabric, taking care to peel away all glue remnants and save any vintage trim in good condition. A gentle nudge can usually fix most bent frames. Rusty frames, however, will need more prep as they have to be sanded and primed to prevent any rusty stains seeping through to your face fabric over time. For small chips on vintage frames, one of my top tips is to seal them with a little spot of white nail varnish. As you work, you may need to attach pieces of tape and you'll definitely need to stitch a secure finish. So before you start, don't forget to prepare a threaded needle and leave it somewhere handy. Traditionally, frames were bound with bias lining strips. If you've ever stripped a really old vintage frame, it's quite an education. However, today we have this lovely stuff called Cotton India Tape that comes in white or black in varying widths. I usually find that three times the circumference of the top ring and a bit more gives me just enough tape to complete the top ring. For binding the bottom ring, you will need to join tape on. If you run your fingers across the Indian tape, you'll feel a slight ridge to one side. If you make this your leading edge, the ridge will be covered as you wrap, giving a smooth finish. A neat, firm, secure start is crucial. Line the 45 degree angle of the edge of your cotton tape to the top of the frame and to the left of the strut, with the ridge on the leading edge. First bring the tape down behind the join and then back up and across the front, over the top and back behind. To complete the figure of eight, take the tape across the front and up over the top of the rim. Now you are ready to start wrapping. Give the tape a little tug to make sure you're good and secure before you start wrapping. It's essential that you wrap tight. If your tape is loose, you'll lose the tension in your face fabric later. Test your wrapping from time to time to make sure nothing is slipping. Wrap on a 45 degree angle across 50% of the tape so that you have the complete ring double wrapped. You'll be stitching through this tape later to secure your face fabric and lining to the frame. My usual go-to width for most lampshade making projects is 13 millimeters. On my website at www.jsinteriors.uk, you can find details of reliable stockists for Cotton India tape. When you get to another strut, or one of the gimbals, continue wrapping as best you can on that 45 degree angle, but perhaps where needed, pop in an extra wrap or two to ensure there is enough tape to sew through later when you're going to be fixing that face fabric to the frame. As you continue round, be mindful to keep your tension even and tight. Give a little check now and then to be sure. When wrapping frames, you will need to join lengths of tape and you'll want to avoid this being messy and or compromising tension. To attach an additional piece of tape, I use a flat blanket stitch. Line up the two ends of cotton India tape with the adjoining tape on top. Start by stitching a few back stitches at the top and loop through to lock. Run three or four blanket stitches down the centre of the join and then secure with a couple of back stitches looping through to lock. Your join will be delicate, so be careful not to tug too hard as you continue wrapping the ring. 
You might want to wrap the tape a little closer at this point to secure your join, tucking in the tails as you go. Then carry on wrapping tightly at a 45 degree angle with a 50% overlap. To complete, stitch into one edge of the tape with a couple of back stitches and loop through to secure. Pop a couple of holding stitches into the middle of the tape and finish with a couple of back stitches into the other edge, looping through to secure and then thread the needle back through the tape before cutting. Now your frame is ready and you are ready to create a handmade lampshade. What will it be? Gathered, tailored or pleated? What design do you have in mind? At this point, as I like to say, the only limitation is your imagination. For ideas, inspiration and additional information on making handmade lampshades or top tips from Jacqueline's Creative Critter workshops and retreats, you'll find us on Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. Or better still, check out our latest workshop and retreat opportunities at www.jsinteriors.uk and most important, have fun. Thank you.